I'm Dr. Madhav, Associate Consultant in Nephrology at Manipal Hospital Whitefield. So when in pain, we give painkillers, which can often be paracetamol, some sort of NSAIDs or opioids. We may give alpha blockers like tamsulosin, which will help the ureter to contract freely so that the stone passes. Adequate hydration, oral and IV. And if the stone is more than 10 mm, we would typically require a surgical intervention. So prevention of stones is most important. So uh, for prevention of stones, we would require dietary modification as well as medications. Dietary modifications include drinking plenty of water. What I typically recommend to my patients is get up, have a glass of water and every three to four hours drink one or two glasses of water. That way at least 2.5 liters of water goes in. Avoid foods which are high in oxalate and high in purines. This would be the typical diet modification that we advise. Apart from this, we would also prescribe certain tablets. We would prescribe potassium citrate in case there is low citrate in the urine. We would prescribe thiazide diuretics to reduce the amount of calcium in the urine. And we would prescribe allopurinol or febuxostat to reduce the amount of uric acid in the urine. This will require close monitoring and multiple frequent tests. We would recommend further evaluation of renal stones in people who had repeated calculi, who have family history of calculi, who have kidney dysfunction, infection associated with the stone, GI disturbance and chronic GI illnesses, GI being gastrointestinal illnesses, someone with a solitary kidney or someone with infirm health. These are people in whom we would typically uh, recommend further metabolic evaluation. The further metabolic evaluation would be both blood tests as well as urine tests. The blood tests that we would recommend would typically include electrolytes and PTH to look at the chemistries, as well as 24-hour urine to assess the amount of calcium, oxalate, uric acid, citrate in the urine so that appropriate treatment can be carried out. And these are often going to be monitored during therapy. So all in all, renal calculi are very common and they often have a high rate of recurrence, which is why prevention is also important. So what I would recommend is drink plenty of fluids and with if you have multiple renal calculi, please come to the clinic and visit your nephrologist. Thank you.